But, uh, hold on. No, I do not want to talk to that bitch. I be hitting people with such straight truth when it comes, they be like, I called you. I be like, I know. Sometimes it, it's not that bad. Like I really was busy. I couldn't get back to you. And then I got busier. So I couldn't call you, but like, nigga, I know. Me and the homie Kehlani were trying to bring back AIM. We about to go to T-Mobile and like get sidekicks and shit again. Like, n like this is weak to just be like, yeah, I'll put your number in. You know what I'm saying? It's weak. Like, you know how much flavor you had to add to like stand up and just like flip that bitch up. With the sound effects like shing shing. Even when she put her number in, you feel like a boss. Like, all the like that shit's hard. So I wanted to bring that back, and she was down. She's random, just like me. Hella weird. We're trying to think of names, and then. I'm Filipino, so I say guapo all the time, just means like handsome. And I was calling myself uh, guapo, guap, guap, gracias. Handsome, money, money, thank you. And uh, she, we kind of shortened that to just guap dad. I was like, damn, I need a number, because it's a screen name. I was like, yeah, I'm guap dad 4,000. She wanted me to be young guap dad, and I was like, I can't be young. Like these dudes came to me, and they was from the north. And they were like, yo, this is like Project X movie that's about to drop. We want to like take the whole thing and throw a party before the movie and beat it. So we was like, hell yeah, let's do it. We was young niggas, bro. Not really doing nothing. I, I, was, I was just like boosting at the time. I had hella bitches stealing from me. We hosted the first party. I watched these niggas count 30 bands in my face on the table in the back room. And I'm like, hey. I want half on the next one. They didn't want to give me half at first, it was whatever, and then eventually I got that half. And we start throwing parties. That means we got more silks. That means we had more money. Now we actually had money to like back up having all this designer shit, right? So people would come up to us and be like, what do y'all do? Y'all just look crazy. People, mamas, aunties, like bitches. Y'all, why, what do y'all do? Y'all rap, huh? They make music. Like people will walk up to us and just like ask us for pictures. We ain't have a song out. I never even wrote 16 bars ever. I looked at my niggas one day and I'm like, we rappers. And that's how it started. When we first started rapping, we had a record called 1000 Degrees and it was like some hot boy juvenile inspired shit. Cause we from, the 1000 block of West Oakland, that's why we called it that. And that was like the driving force. We was performing that at all the parties and shit, and it was like going crazy. Real life started kicking in for a lot of us. I was going through a lot of shit at the time. Both my parents had went to jail and shit. My granny got cancer, like my little brother was, we're fighting all the time, I'm breaking his nose and shit. Like I got my little sister trying to figure out how to teach her to be like a kid. And like a, where I'm used to like uh, going outside and riding on pegs and shit and like touching girls' booties and running and shit. Like I gotta like teach a little girl how to like respect people and shit like that. It's weird. Because of all that and all this like real life shit, that's when I started scamming. Nothing was clicking with the music because I wasn't like putting everything in there. And I was having money and not having money and going through the trap cycle of like, I'ma spend it all because I can make it back so fast. So I don't mind being broke for two days because I know I'm finna be rich again. And then getting rich again don't happen. And now I'm not popping. And now I got all this shit, like, man, I was depressed. So I saved up hella money. Saved up hella money. I'm I'm a, I'm a couple thousand bands up. I'm talking to DJ like I'm I'm reaching out like I got all this money. It's a DJ back in bed. I want to tell I want to say the name, cause fuck him. But I just had, had scammed for hella Apple gift cards and I was gonna use that to get a MacBook and give it to him with hella money. Like, bro, like what do I gotta do? That nigga waved me off in the club. Told me to wait. I'm like, you can't even give me advice, my nigga. So. Or whatever. Then I just had my money and I took the loss. 
sat on it for too long, tried to bust a play though I could turn it all into cash. It was all in Bitcoin. Um, you know, I lost everything in the play. So I called my manager damn near crying. He didn't believe that uh, I was gonna take this shit serious. I had to show him, he was like, can you get to LA? I'll give you the key. I got to LA that, like that day, that night. Man, I was in there recording six months straight living in there. And then I went viral again. Cause it's not a facade. This whole thing is like who I am. You meet me, I'm the same nigga that I am on the internet, which I can't say for a lot of other internet people. It's 100. Yeah, one of my first nicknames was the Ferragamo Falcon. And that's this dude right here. And this right here is the Gucci Goat. I actually got a song called Gucci Goat featuring my homie Buddy from Compton. It's gonna go on my next project, the Valentino Viper. But man, I, I got hell of nicknames, man. I'm the Moschino Martyr. I call my bitches Bushimi Bank Butter Biscuits. I often like uh, been told that I cascade into the room like a Givenchy glitter glisten. I just kind of apply pimp lingo and that kind of like, you feel me? Smooth, like a oral elegance. I'm selling myself instead of selling pussy. That's really what it is. I am the dream that I'm selling to the masses. Fuck boy phrases. I see the vision and or I fuck with the vision. Uh, less build <laughs> or what, hold on, what's what else? Some, like a nigga in a Supreme coat at Starbucks would tell me. Less link. I'd be like, for what, my nigga? <laughs> for what? <laughs> What are we gonna do? Like, what do you do? It's one, especially in California, I be fucking with the music. It's not even with my music, that's somebody telling me that they do music. I be fucking with the music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I be fucking with it. I be like, okay, okay, I see you, my nigga. Yeah, you fucking with the vision and shit. Let's link. <laughs>